Hi, thanks for coming. Now we can move on to discuss the effects of damping on the amplitude of forced oscillations. Now, since the vibrator is continuously feeding energy into the system, why doesn't the amplitude grow and grow and grow forever until it reaches infinity? Um, the reason is simple, because the system itself is also losing energy to the surrounding through air resistance. So when it's oscillating at a large enough amplitude and when it's oscillating fast enough, then the rate of loss of energy to the surrounding matches the rate of input of energy into the system. And when you have that, the amplitude will stop growing. It reaches its final uh, equilibrium maximum amplitude. So what happens if we can increase the amount of damping experienced by this oscillator? Maybe we are going to stick a cardboard onto the, on, onto the mass so that uh, we increase the air resistance it encounters. So when we do that, this guy is going to lose energy to the surrounding at a faster rate. So we'll reach the stage when the rate of loss matches the rate of an input at a lower amplitude of oscillation. This explains why the resonance graph will reach a lower resonance peak when we increase the amount of damping. So when you increase the amount of damping, the amplitude of force oscillation is going to become uh, lower at every driving frequency. There's another effect to increasing damping that um, is going to actually um, lengthen the period of oscillation. So the resonant frequency actually becomes lower as the amount of damping is increased. But because this amount of, uh, this effect is quite small if we are talking about meaningful resonance, so very often, we actually uh, ignore this effect. We just draw resonance graphs that have, that have peaks as the natural frequency. We, we sometimes do not show this um, lowering of the resonance frequencies. And sometimes you also see another uh, graph being sketched. And that's the one that is usually drawn in dashed lines which shows the amplitude of force oscillation actually uh, reaching infinity. Uh, this is supposed to represent the ideal case when there's no damping. With no damping, you're not losing energy to the surrounding, and if you continuously feed energy into the system, then of course the amplitude can grow and grow and forever, and in theory, it can reach an infinite amplitude. In practice, the oscillation will have broken down uh, way before that. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!